Tamales was founded in the mid to late 1800s. I came out, I moved out here from Texas on a four day weekend and I never left. Bank of America sold this place and I put an offer on it within 24 hours. Small town banking was over. You know, they were dumping all their small town bank properties. It was right about, you know, the, the time of the ATM machine. Oh, and would you like some tea? I can hear the water boiling. So you had to put a kitchen in. Yes, this was all um, essentially one big bathroom. For some reason, they don't have kitchens and showers and banks. You know, I got a little refrigerator here, a dishwasher. I didn't even know they made toy size appliances. You know, because this is like a half size dishwasher, but it's great. You know, it's and um, and then like the washer and the dryer. Yeah, uh, it's full size actually. Yeah, it's wonderful. The the biggest thing is. Um, I didn't have a washer and a dryer for years because I couldn't find one that would fit. Oh, it just barely clears the handle. So getting a shower, this was, like I say, the whole kitchen, everything was one. So getting a shower put in was the first major deal because uh, we had a jackhammer through the concrete pad that we're sitting on to tie into the sewer system. And so then I had a contractor do that, and then I finished off the uh, sort of boat galley kitchen that we have here. The, the other issue is the, the vault. You know, what are you going to do with a vault? And, uh, you know, this is the vault. And it is a functional safe. It works quite well. And um, so this is the scary part um, because you probably have something called a garage that you put everything in, all your bicycles and junk. Okay, I have a vault, or as we call it, the black hole. <laughs> and it's just where everything ends up, you know. Banks don't come with a lot of closet space. That's great, but you're obviously an artist. I, see I draw. Of, yeah. I don't paint. And then I see something on the guitar. Yeah, I was in a rock and roll band. So like these two drawings to your left, those are mine. I like these. Why, why, uh, why buy a bank? Was it Oh, I've lived in, uh, ever since I left college, I've lived in buildings and warehouses. I've converted a lot of uh, open loft space into living quarters. I've put in bathrooms and showers right and left. And so I'm not really that comfortable in a house. I find compartmentalized rooms to be a little disturbing because you always end up having rooms that you don't ever walk into and don't ever use. So I really do like the open space of a loft, of a warehouse, of a building. It's a little dirtier, a little rougher. You know, you're usually not in a pristine neighborhood. I'm down here sandwiched between a bar and a hotel. You know, the noise and the patrons from the bar can get a little rowdy at night. And of course I play late at night and serenade the whole town, whether they like it or not. The ceiling that you see, that you can see out here in the lobby now is not a particle board. That's an actual sort of clothy material. And it was the same ceiling here, and I thought I'll tear it down and there'll be something really interesting behind it. Well, there wasn't. So. I've done a lot of stage design, so I had to come up with a solution really quick. So I hung this uh, corrugated tin and put recessed lighting behind it. Now I go to people's houses and there's a guest bedroom and it's never used. And I grew up 
in a house where the nicest room in the largest room in the house was the living room, and the only time we used that room was for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Nowadays, everybody's house has one room that the focus is the TV, and that's it, you know. And of course, I'm a my day job is a FedEx delivery guy. So, you know, 90% of the houses I drive up to, you can't even bring the car into the garage. The garage is now a warehouse for all the stuff people have. 